Hello students, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to explain you the third lesson of the 7 standard CBSC board from the textbook Honeycomb that is Gopal and the Hells of Fish. So it is a comical story so and I hope that you all will enjoy in listening to this story. So now let us start this story. It was the season for Hilsha fish and fisherman could not think of nothing but Hilsha fish. So here in that particular place Hilsha fish was very famous. So all people were in, especially the fisherman cannot think of anything else but only about Hilsha fish. So here fishmonger sold nothing but Hilsha fish. Come, buy the price of Hilsha is down today. So fishmongers are the person who sells fish, who have got a business of fish. So as in that particular place, Hilsha fish is very famous. So all the fishmongers are very much busy at that particular time. So they have nothing, uh, no other topics were there. So everybody were talking about Hilsha fish. So they are telling that come buy today, all your, the price of the Hilsha is down today. Householders could not take off nothing but hills of fish. Householders means the owner of the houses. Everyone could talk of nothing. They were not talking anything but they were talking only about hills of fish. Some other you know neighborhood they are asking, hey how much did you pay for that hills up? Then the person is household is replying, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. Since the price is fall down at that day, so that lady is very much interested. That how much price did it took? How much? Then we said, you cannot believe it. I got it at a very low price. Even had in the palace too, the courtiers could discuss nothing but hills of fish. Courtiers means in the palace the members of the all the council of the palace who used to give advice to the king everyone was talking about hills office then they are telling your majesty majesty means your highness you should have seen the huge hills i caught it was means they were so excited and they were telling about hills to the king also now let us see what king replied stop it king was become quiet irritated and angry are you a courtyard or a fisherman means he is asking are you are a counselor that means member of the council who used to give advice to the king so are you a courtyard or a fisherman he asked the courtyard fell silent with downcast eyes the king felt guilty that means after getting such kind of reaction from the king so the courtyard felt silent with downcast eyes means he was looking downside or he might be he was feeling ashamed and he was feeling guilty but the king replied i am sorry i lost my temper it is the season for hills of fish and no one means king did not want any more talk about hills of fish because it was the season for hills of fish and no one could stop talking about it even for some time also. So from the fisherman to the fishmongers to the householders, even the courtiers at the place could not stop talking about or discussing about the hills of fish. And that's why he was getting annoyed whoever was talking about hills of fish. Not even Gopal can stop anyone from talking about hills of fish. Not even for 5 minutes. That means Gopal, this character Gopal is known for his cleverness, for his intelligency. So he is telling that even Gopal also failed it. That he also was not able to stop that topic or stop the people from discussing about that topic that is Hilsa fish. Even not for 5 minutes. Then Gopal replied, Oh, I think I could, your majesty. So Gopal said, yes, king, I think I could solve this matter. So the king said, then let me see you buy a huge hilsa and bring it to the palace without anyone asking you a word about it. So in order to prove that he was clever, Gopal was asked to buy a huge hilsa fish. And bring it to the palace without anyone asking anything about the fish. 
fish. So the king gave one kind of challenge to Gopal. Okay. Now Gopal replied, I accept the challenge, your majesty. So with the respect, he accepted the challenge from the king. Now see, few days later. So after few days, now the Gopal's wife, this character is Gopal's wife. Now the Gopal's wife is asking, why is your face is half shaven? So he shaved, as you can see in the picture, he has shaved his face half. He didn't shave his face fully. Then Gopal replied, I am dressing up to buy a fish. So Gopal said, I am dressing up, don't disturb because right now I am going to buy a fish. Then again Gopal's wife is quite surprised and worried. What's the matter with you? Why are you smearing yourself with ash? So now the second thing that Gopal did, he was smearing means he was covering his face or sparkling his face with some ash. Again Gopal replied, I told you I am dressing up to buy a Hilsa fish. Again he replied the same thing that don't disturb. I am doing all this just as if he was putting a kind of makeup. So he is told don't disturb. I am told you already I am dressing up to buy a Hilsa fish. Then again his wife said listen to me please. You cannot possibly go out in those disgraceful rags. What are you up to? And Gopal were all disgraceful rags means toad means all toad clothes he was wearing very dirty toad clothes and he was so the wife is telling please don't go outside while wearing these kinds of dress how many times i'll tell you woman i am out to buy a huge hills of fish so he again said please don't disturb how many times i have to tell you i am going out because i want to buy a hills of fish it is happened to him. He is gone mad. So his wife thought that Gopal has gone mad because before he went to buy his Hilsa fish, first of all, Gopal have half shaved his face, smeared himself with the ash and wore disgraceful rags. So his wife is confirmed that God, my husband has gone mad. Now see what happened. Gopal brought the Hilsa fish and started walking towards the road. As you can see in the picture, so Gopal brought the fish. Now everybody, whoever in the market, all were what they were talking. Mother, look at that man. Isn't it he comical? So one small children is talking towards his mother. See ma, he is so funny. He is wearing all these kinds of clothes. So isn't it it's funny? So all were talking about Gopal. So what happened next? Another person is telling he must be a madman. Shh, I think he's a mystic. Mystic means a mysterious man. So all the people in the whoever was present in the market, they were commenting on the appearance by appearance of the Gopal. Some were telling he is comical. Some are telling he must be a madman. Some are telling must he must be a mystic. That means a kind of mysterious man. So all people were discussing about Gopal only. But they forget to notice about the Hilsa fish that he was carrying. Okay. So now next. When Gopal reached the court. That means finally Gopal reached to the palace. What do you want? The guards means these are the guards of the palace. They asked what do you want? Gopal replied. I want to see the king. So Gopal said, I want to see the king. You can't see the king. Get away with you. So the, they were thinking that he is a madman. They won't allow him to go inside. So they were telling, please go outside because we won't allow you to get in inside. After hearing that, Gopal began to dance and sing loudly. So after he had bought the fish, Gopal reached the palace, told the girls that he want to see the king. When the girls did not let him in, he began to dance and sing loudly. When the king heard this, now next you see, because he was singing loudly, then the king heard the noise. Oh, the man is crazy. Throw him out at once. Then the king ordered, please throw him out. He is a crazy or a mad one. 
I want to see the king. Let me in. Then also he can hear the voice that the person is telling, that Gopal is telling. But he don't know that that person is Gopal because he was dressed like that. I want to see the king. Let me in. So, then after hearing that, the king ordered to the guard that, okay, bring the man to me at once. Then the guard said, yes, your majesty. So, after hearing the noise, because he was started to sing loudly, so the king said, okay, when the king heard this and also comments of the people watching the man sing and dance, he asked for the man to be brought before him at once. Gopal was brought before the king. So, the member of the council, as you can see, all are standing. They are also surprised. But they recognize, Re, it's Gopal. It's no one else, but it's Gopal. Then all were started discussing and gossiping among each other. As you can see, all the courtiers, that the man had lost his mind. I think it's one of his crazy jokes. Some is telling he has lost his mind. Some are telling that no, might be he is doing some jokes. Then see what happened. All right. Now the king said, all right, Gopal, out with it. Why are you dressed up in this ridiculous fashion? That means in a funny way, why you have dressed up like this? Then Gopal replied, your majesty, you have seemed to have forgotten something. So the Gopal now is replying that, okay, maybe you have forgotten something. Forgotten something. King also become like, what I have forgotten? Then Gopal replied, Strangely enough, no one seemed to be interested in Hilsa fish today. From the market to the palace and in the court, not a soul has spoken a word about Hilsa fish. So, ha ha ha, Gopal, congratulations. You have achieved the impossible once again. So, then king remembered that the challenge he had thrown to Gopal before. So now he started laughing. Why? Because no one seemed to be interested in talking about Hilsa fish which Gopal had bought because Gopal's ridiculous appearance. So some people found him comical, other thought he was a madman, still other thought he was a mystic. So there were so much of thing was going on in discussing in his appearance. And that's the reason that the hills of fish went unnoticed. And in this way, Gopal once again proved his intelligency towards the king and he won the challenge. Okay. And it's a very funny story and I hope that I try to make you understand. But still, if you have any doubts, you can mention that in my comment section given below. And please mention the name of the chapter or the name of the class which you want me to explain. So definitely I'm going to do that in my future video. So till then, take care and thank you for watching.